All right, good morning. Pretty cool morning here up in the hills. Um, about eight o'clock. I'm about to get started on bull bar fitment. So, there's the ranger, all fresh. <coughs> Excuse the mess. No, the bull bar is not on the club sport. It's just sitting in front of it. Yeah, so we've got that bull bar there. Winch cradle over there. Bolts, nuts, plates and everything there. And that's going on to there. So, let's see how we go. All right, so just doing a short update. I'm um, just doing some assembly stuff here. Now, we're looking at the back side of the bull bar here, it's face down, and I just fitted up. There's some like bumpers, I, could, I suppose you'd call them. Little um, plastic or rubber. Um, oh, you'll see them better when the bull bars on the car but they get bolted on here um kind of weird that it's just a washer and a nut i'd put a nylock on there but i'm just what i'm going to do is i'm just going to check that they're firm and then i might just put a little dab of lot tight just there because i've got a feeling that these will rattle loose so yep just an update doing checks making sure everything's tight like fog light bolts and everything and then I suppose next we start taking that bumper off. All right, so just a quick one to help people who um, are removing these things. Now, pretty straightforward, these clips on the top. One here, one here. So this type of clip, I forget what the proper name is. So one there, two, three, and four. And five. They're pretty easy. Stick a screwdriver under the mushroom cap there and then just flick it up and then they pop out. Now the front part is the tricky part. Like I've taken the grill out here already. What you do is you lift this part of it. You get in underneath. And all that you need to do, so we're on the underside now. Okay. You get a screwdriver flat blade and just poke the front flat blade here and then just give it a twist and these will pop out stick it here give it a bit of a twist and it'll pop out so just be cautious with those um, so that part there clips into the top of the grill and then the grill the grill is pretty easy um, See these little tangs at the bottom here? One, two, three, four, five. They clip into the bumper. You can see under there. There, there, and there. And all that you need to do is, again, flat blade screw over from the top. Push it, just go towards this, push it into here, and then just lever it. But at the same time, you need to just put some outward pressure on the grill. So, sorry, correction. There are five along the bottom, and then there's two on the sides here. Bit of wriggling around. You have to work it out. But it's all just clip in. There's nothing crazy here. And so what I've done so far is I've also popped plastic clip out from here, from here, and the same on the other side over there. So that's where we're at at the moment. Oh yeah, and I forgot something. Pretty important. There's a couple of um, 10 mil bolts that go in through the grill to here and to here. But that's pretty obvious. Thought I'd just mention that. So underneath the lip here, you have this little chin uh, deflector thing has 
eight, eight millimeter bolts holding that lip in. I just use the impact driver just there. And then the actual bumper itself to the brackets, there are four 10 mil heads. And again, just impact. Use an impact driver, guys. They've got Loctite on them, so I mean, it's not like it's going to be hard to, to use a ratchet wrench to back them out, but just impact them out. It takes like two seconds. So I'm about to take the bumper off, or bumper cover. Um, highly recommend impact wrench, 8mm socket with extension. And under here in the guard, so I had, like, see that little flare there? That's a little flare that goes here. I peeled that off, so it had screws along this inside edge of the bumper cover. And then there's a 8mm head bolt that goes through here. And it's hard to see, but trust me, just where my finger is there, and it goes up that way. So you, you put your drilling extension and then buzz that one out. And then the rest of it's held in by just sort of clips through here. So you grab the bumper cover from up and around the back here. So I pull this down, grab it in the back, and then you just literally peel it out of that groove. And yeah, just need to be careful around the bottom of the headlight if, if you are. Uh, want to avoid damage to the headlight and obviously the guard. Peel it out. Now this is already out. I need to do the driver's side and then don't forget to unplug fog lights, radar on the front and then we'll be back. So what I just share found a little uh, stowaway on board. Gross. Yeah it's dead. Little pigeon idea where I cleaned that up. Looks recent. A couple of weeks maybe. Anyway. Gross. Okay, so there's some ducting to move the air um, into the intercooler and front end of the vehicle. So if you have a look here, that duct is not exactly in place, but it goes there. And then there's a 8mm just through there use an extension on the impact wrench and then there's one just down here sorry I'm trying to hold it in place one here 8mm head that's it there back that out and then you're going to trim a little piece out of it just so the ball bar clears. See there? So this piece that I've cut out. And that goes back on. And do that on both sides. This is the front left side of the car. And then you have to do that one as well. Okay, moving on. There's a little friend there, RRP. Um, so, Bumper support, right here. That's on top of there. And there are two, four, six, 15 mil head bolts. Right there. Two there in the front. Two there in the front. And then underneath. So this is laying on its back under this way. That goes up into there. That, sorry, and then there's two clips in the front that are a little here and here. All that you need to do is just get a flat blade screwdriver and just push the clip back in, and then that comes out. And then hopefully, I'll unbolt that plate there so I can give old mate a. Uh, Respectful burial. 
all right so I knew I'd encounter some issues at some stage and here we go um, putting the parking sensor loom in now problem is the contours of the standard bumper cover has the sensors sitting at certain angles using these bezels now because the angles of the bull bar are different that pretty much renders these bezels which are very handy and clip in very nicely useless because then they just get put at the wrong angle look at that one it's wrong way the wrong well sorry let me start again it's completely the wrong angle for the bull bar so I love a challenge bit of customization I'm using the like the bull bar came with plugs for the sensor holes these plugs um, you can see that little round section in the middle there cut that out and then glue it this glue the sensor through it um, and then Bob's your uncle you have a sensor and there's I've done one there Okay. Give me a second. So that's not glued in yet. It's just sort of sitting there. Where are we? There it is. The middle screen. Bit of glue. And she'll be sweet. Did a bit of customization like this on the Colorado bull bar. Works fine. So don't see why this would be any different. Let's see how we go. Right, so this has put us back an hour and a half, almost two hours. I had to custom make some parking sensor holders here. Now, I've just um, glued them in there and just letting them set. Not the prettiest from the back end but at the front once I clean it up it should be fine remember this thing is just going to probably get wrapped coated anyway okay now let's get back on track again winch mount All right, and we're back again what am I getting myself into who fits bull bars anyway more customization this time um, fitting the radar for the cruise control again on tech pack PX sorry um, customized bracket just in there so this part here is a piece of the existing bracket that I used and just used some stainless steel bolts there in that little bracket to uh, hold that still. Beautiful, solid as. One job done and in the meantime, because it's taken ages, the sensors glued in and drying next is to work out the brackets on the mount because yeah this bar is brand new and it didn't come with instructions how hard is it to make print off some instructions of some sort might have a look online anyway kind of going blind because I haven't done going blind working blind because I haven't done a bull bar like this one before now if everything was bolt on probably would have taken I'd had a guess three or four hours so far we're four-ish four hours approximately and we haven't even got the mount on there yet just all this customization anyway we'll get there update for now all right we're still going it's taken a lot more 
customization than I initially thought. Um, had to drill that hole on both sides for that bolt. Um, had to do a bit of wriggling around and working out how these plates go on to support the chassis rails. Got it in the end. Um, pulled this sensor off so that it can be mounted back in some place. Um, yeah, pretty much the same for the other side as well. Um, now we're pretty much up to just getting the last bits of wiring out of that bumper cover and putting it into the ball bar. And then we can hook it on. Wish me luck. All right, small update. Had to extend the loom by about 150 mil here so that it gets the loom can sit nice and comfortably and reach all the sensors. Um, and then like this is going to tuck in here. And then I extended it by another probably 200 on this side. It's 150 was a bit tight on that side. So after this, pretty much can bolt it on. Let's do it.